In order to take that first step, you have to get a bit of an ego. You have to think that whatever you have to offer is actually worth people's time. If you do not have that, you don't have anything. Every single YouTuber is a bit of an egomaniac. Yes guys, even myself, even other people out there that you might think are wholesome and you know, even YouTubers who don't seem particularly egotistical or like materialistic or don't flex a lot or whatever, they all have an ego and in this video as somebody who's been on YouTube for basically like 10 years at this point pretty much, I want to talk a bit about imposter syndrome, ego and YouTube. And I essentially want to talk about how it is almost important to have a bit of an ego and to almost have a certain inflated sense of self-importance to even have a successful career on YouTube. Now what am I talking about? So, you see guys, there's a Russian who's immigrated from the country and who's, you know, moved two countries at this point. I first moved to Georgia, now I live in Portugal. There's been a lot of things that have happened to me in the past few years. There's a lot of stuff I've had to do, a lot of people I've had to deal with. A lot of the content that I make is censored around like current events and everything. And it's, even though I'm just commentating on things, I am putting myself in a spot to be criticized, to be commented on by other people, right? And the thing is, guys, at a certain point, especially quite recently, I've actually had a bit of an imposter syndrome on YouTube in a sense of like, well, being a YouTuber like myself who gets views, there's a bit of an expectation coming from your fans as far as how much content you're supposed to make and so on, but also how you have to act and present yourself almost, you know what I mean? And a lot of the time in the last two years, I've gone through different periods in my life where I felt like giving up at certain points, right? And I've had self-esteem issues and things like that, which I think all these things I've very related to the fact that I happen to be from Russia, a country whose, you know, political leaning and political ideology and everything I don't really vibe with, right? I don't want to associate myself with it, but at the same time, I have a great deal of positive feelings about my country and so on, even though I've essentially been forced to leave it. So it is hard to find yourself in there, it's hard to find that healthy balance between, you know, genuine criticism and just self-hating at that point, right? Essentially, in the last two years or so, I've gotten in the position on my channel a couple of times where, not even on my channel, just in my personal life and my personal well-being and the way I felt about myself, there's been a couple of situations where I essentially felt like, why does anybody want to hear my opinion, you know what I mean? Why do I think that I'm worthy of other people to listen to? You know what I mean? Why do I even think that I'm worthy of making this content that I'm making, right? Maybe I should just shut up because at the end of the day, who really cares? I'm just a guy who's, you know, kind of randomly ended up in the position that he is in. So why should people care about what I have to say? I tend to think of myself as a person who has a lot of self-criticism. I always try to sort of check my behavior and I do like to have a grasp of what I'm doing in an overall mission. But sometimes it feels like your mission is lost a little bit, and you start feeling aimless, especially because you're an immigrant and your identity is melting and changing so much, you feel like you're almost not there anymore, and you feel like the people on your channel wouldn't even want to hear what you have to say, because like, unrecognizable to myself, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I'm yapping right now, but essentially the point I'm trying to say, even as a YouTuber who's had a long career now, career, right, who's been on this website for 15, 20 fucking years or whatever, right, for my whole life, <laughs> And even though I have tons of fans who keep messaging me and saying, Roman, we need your take, we want your opinion, you have a great way of thinking or whatever, we like your input, you can still crash down into like self-loathing and self-pity and think that, you know, you're not worthy of speaking out and like having your opinion out there in the world. And this is precisely where I'm getting to the point in this video about YouTubers having to have a certain ego and a certain inflated sense of self-importance because essentially if you want to be a YouTuber, especially if you want to be like a commentary YouTuber, you want to discuss current issues or whatever's going on in the world, when you're in that position, you probably realize that there's a ton of people who could probably do this better than you or there's just a ton of people other than you who would do this who would speak about the same exact issues. And in order to take that first step, right, in order to take that first step into becoming a YouTuber <laughs> and constantly sharing your opinion and your thoughts on a certain topic or whatever, you have to take that first step where you have to think to yourself, yes, the thoughts that I have and the opinions that I have are worth of somebody's attention. You know what I mean? In order to put yourself in this outspoken position where people also will be able to criticize you and come at you for things that you said that are wrong or whatever, you have to open up to some hate, you have to open up to the possibility of people hating, disagreeing with you or so on. In order to take that first step, you have to get a bit of an ego. You have to think that whatever you have to offer is actually worth people's time. If you do not have that, you don't have anything. Once again, when you come to that point of depression or whatever, when you think that 
it doesn't matter I have this channel with a million subs or whatever I've had people who have been watching me for years and I have people in real life coming up to me and saying thank you for what you're doing right doesn't matter I still fucking hate myself you know what I mean I'm still gonna hate myself and think that I'm not worth shit and nobody wants to hear what I have to yap about you have to fight it you have to physically fight that and even though once again I'm not even necessarily subscribing to the position that everybody has you know an opinion that's worth hearing <laughs> A lot of people are just dumb as shit. And at the end of the day, guys, I really do not think that I'm more special or more deserving of hearing out compared to anybody else. But once again, if you want to be a YouTuber in a public space, you have to basically convince yourself that, yes, I am worthy of having my opinions out there. And this, I feel like, is even more important if you're a larger YouTuber, if you're pretty popular and you have a lot of notoriety, so to say, right? If you have haters, if you have people who dislike you, right? You cannot even fight back or like defend your own position if you feel very low about yourself. You have to have a certain sense of self-worth and that, you know, the words that you're speaking are worth something. And the truth is that a lot of the YouTubers that you watch, I feel like a lot of you guys probably have a feeling a lot of the times when you watch YouTubers or, you know, like commentary channels or whoever, anybody, essentially anybody who's putting themselves out there on YouTube, you've probably seen somebody on YouTube, right? And you've probably caught yourself thinking, who the fuck is this guy? Who does he think he is and why is he so popular? Why do so many people think that this guy has anything worthy to say? <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm sweating a little bit in this video. Can't really fix that. A sweaty pig, no fuckers bangers. But anyway, once again, if you want to be a YouTuber, you have a certain amount of confidence and ego and belief in yourself. And you have to also have a certain almost inflated feeling of self-importance, right? Because this is once again something that I find really interesting myself as a content creator. I find it quite interesting that sometimes when I post the most mundane things or the most basic things of all time, I could post a video that, you know, is just a vlog where it's not something... It's not me doing anything, like, extraordinary. It's basically just me traveling, which is, you know, very basic. It's something that a lot of people get to do. And I'm not really... I'm not really special in a sense of, like, my travel vlogs, for example, right? I don't think so, at least. And, you know, you kind of make these things. And you kind of think to yourself, eh, who cares, whatever, right? This is just a fucking photo I took. Or this is like just a video vlog I made. It's just me yapping. It's nothing particularly interesting or like groundbreaking, right? Like, why am I even making this? Everything has to be fucking perfect, you know? I have to like make fucking Citizen Kane or something, you know? I have to make like a cinematic masterpiece fucking that changes the world and upload that to YouTube. Only then I'll be worthy of like anybody's fucking watch time, right? I have the kind of that mindset, right? Even though I'm not even chasing perfection. I just think that I'm not shit. Right? So what I'm saying is, right, when I post regular stuff like that, a lot of the times, I get replies from people that are just, like, super excited. These people are like, this is awesome, I'm so happy to see this picture of you here doing this, or I'm so happy to see this video, or, you know, I saw this video and I heard something good in this video from you, and that kind of, you know, sparks a, yeah, an idea in my brain or, like, a thought. And I personally find that super interesting and also bizarre also at the same time because it feels like what I shared and what I did, like, it doesn't feel groundbreaking or, like, life-changing to me in any way. And I feel like, you know, possibly I could have put more effort into it. On it. Or it feels like what I did, what I published, what I posted was completely effortless for me. There's people out there who appreciate it. And it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> but that's pretty much, like, most of online content, I feel like. Most YouTubers and most, like, vloggers or whatever are completely normal, regular, mundane people that are, a lot of the times, sharing the facts and the, you know, the events from their pretty regular, pretty mundane lives. Like, it's not anything insane, but people like it. People watch it, people find it relatable, people like the person's personality, right, whatever. And that is why, you know, you have people who are just recording themselves living, recording their daily life or whatever, and they're getting insane amounts of engagement because they essentially took that first step. And they have a bit of a inflated sense of self-importance, which I believe you actually need to grow in yourself as a YouTuber in order to even be successful. Because YouTube is a platform that obviously, you know, it's a place where parasocial relationships are created. It's a place where personal stories and personal anecdotes and things like that, they are rewarded. They are interested for the audience people love to follow drama and little tidbits of like online personalities lives and if you want to be successful if you want to make a lot of money if you want to get a lot of views if you want to you know drive engagement essentially you have to at a certain point separate your real self from your youtube self almost and you have to sensationalize your life and you have to basically make your life a bit of a live reality tv show where you believe that the story of you the story that you're showing out there to the people is interesting enough for anybody to watch. 
You have to inflate your sense of self-importance in order to be create so much content revolving around yourself and therefore in order to, you know, make a ton of money and make a ton of views, right? You essentially pretty much cannot be a YouTuber if you do not have some sort of ego or like feeling of self-importance because otherwise you would just not post about your life. You would keep it to yourself, right? And for me, I feel like so far in my, you know, young adult life throughout my entire time here on YouTube, that has been the biggest challenge. Balancing my life and my work, which is my content, and also not letting it get to my head, but also at the same time, what's even worse, I feel like, than, you know, letting the fame or whatever, and, you know, this feeling of self-importance and people egging you on and, you know, saying that we need to hear your opinion or whatever, Twitch chat going by really quickly, right? All of those things make you feel like a god or whatever, you know, I'm so popular, so many people are watching me. But the truth is that that is pretty bad, right? And there's a lot of YouTubers or Twitch streamers or whatever who think they're so smart and they're so much better than everybody else just because they're popular, right? So that is pretty bad. However, the very other side of that is going into this like YouTube imposter syndrome and essentially going into a bit of a cocoon and saying, yes, I have views, yes, I have followers, but I'm a piece of shit. And I really know that uh, nobody, you know, needs to be actually watching me. I'm terrible. I'm just a shitty human being. Why does anybody like me? You know, I need to just end it all. <laughs> that is not a good mindset to be in. And uh, I've had that mindset for, you know, several months here and there. I cannot even pinpoint you the exact periods I've gone through this. But yes, I do go through like a YouTuber imposter syndrome. I do go through these thoughts here and there. And once again, if you're sitting out there, if you have a YouTube channel, if you have some sort of resource, a podcast, you know, you make music or whatever. If you just just sitting there in your room and you're thinking to yourself oh my god I mean what the hell why do I even need to make this like what's the point right you know like why do I need to make this beat there's like a billion people trying to make music anyway right or why do I need to record this video on this like latest topic that happened you know because a ton of people are gonna make it fucking anyway right what's the point like why is my input needed really the only way to pull yourself out of situations like that is to first of all convince yourself that you are worth hearing and second of all, you need to realize that, yes, what you might create might not be particularly super original, it might not be the greatest there is. However, once again, if it exists, there's a chance that somebody's gonna watch it, and there's a chance that they will find something interesting out of it, and there's a chance that that might actually change their life in a positive way. And even if you're sitting out there in your room thinking that you're not doing anything good to anybody, that nobody wants to hear your shit, trust me, probably somebody does. And again, I don't want to have this like trite moral of uh, essentially I want to parade myself in this video too much, you know, and kind of, you know, suck my own dick because uh, there's a certain type, a certain genre of a YouTuber, which are like the kinds of people who are like, dude, I got a message from an 11 year old boy saying that uh, my video saved his life or something. Clearly that shows that uh, I have already done more than most human beings will ever do in their life. I'm better than everybody. Please worship me. I'm like a savior of humanity or whatever. I don't want to do that. Yes, I do have people, once again, coming up to me on the street. I do have people messaging me saying, you know, thank you for what you do and so on, right? But my inner, like, self-consciousness is way, way harder. And it's weighing down on me way stronger than, like, the, any amount of compliments we ever will. And at the end of the day, even as, like, an accomplished YouTuber or whatever that would be, I always think that I'm the worst YouTuber ever, but even as an accomplished YouTuber, you can get these thoughts that nobody wants to hear this, that you what you're making is basically pointless, that there's no need for this. And it is crazy because it shows to me that, you know, human happiness and like feeling good about yourself, all of these things are very, very not related to like your success or like your financial status or anything like that a lot of the time you can be successful and like financially stable but still feel like a piece of shit about yourself okay so basically the message that i want to send out in this video is that you just need to take the first step okay and i know it's very very hard it's very very difficult you may be self-conscious you may be feeling you know terrified of the potential backlash or the potential you know negative feedback that you might receive but that is part of life and there is no way around it unfortunately and if you want to make something if you want to be a person that is heard by other people at the end of the day you need to just believe in the fact that what you're saying or what you're making has a point and you got to believe in yourself first of all you have to have the confidence that you are actually worthy of hearing you're actually worthy watching if you do not have that you don't have anything
And that is just something that I've realized myself recently because I've kind of gotten out of this, uh, you know, shitty period for myself. And I've had a lot of, you know, these insecure thoughts of, you know, essentially thinking that nobody wants to watch me. But, you know, it shows time and time again that the more stuff I make, the more people are actually interested. And it seems like apparently there is something in there that people are getting out of it. So I'll just continue to do that. The feedback that you get is extremely important, but believing in yourself at the end of the day and feeling like what you're producing is worthy and valuable, that is the most important thing. Try to fight with that voice in your head that is telling you you're not good enough and so on and that, you know, nobody wants to hear what you have to say. Try to fight it and only then you will get some good results. All right, guys, that got very deep. Some very stupid thoughts from NoFocus Bangers once again. Uh, <laughs> I did my best articulating myself. Hopefully it didn't sound like a 12-year-old talking. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Peace.